Hello there Malaysia, this is Jericho here and this is a Wait a Minute production. Today is the 14th of February 2014, it's a Friday, it's 3pm and happy Valentine's Day. Let's go on. So today I'm going to talk about this guy here by the name of uh, Masaharu Fukuyama. I did a video yesterday about his uh, one song, which I've forgotten what that song is called already. Uh, Sakura Zakura or something like that. Great song indeed and uh, now we're going to move on to a few other songs and uh, here is the 2XQ Compression Run 2013 which is already in my uh, page up uh, page already because I just uploaded it. It's a very old video back in 2013 but uh, since they demonetized my old channel, fuck them, Google and, and uh, YouTube as well. So I have to do it again. Yes and now uh, you can see the beautiful super cute Korean Yufi Yen. Very beautiful girl. And you have the innocently beautiful Z Yen. I think I got her name right. Okay, so I have that type of uh, spelling Y I E N G. Uh, yep, no problem. I mean, no mistake there. So this one is my first video of this uh, Masaharu Fukuyama, and now it's going to be the second one. Uh, doing the videos about this sak this uh, Masahai Masaharu Fukuyama. Uh, it's based on one song which is called Squall, which I haven't uh, gotten to yet. Uh, unfortunately, because uh, Masaharu Fukuyama here makes a lot of good songs, a lot of good songs. So fuck. So him here, older, looking yummy, yummy again. So I'm not gonna go through him. What was this? Aha. Uh -huh. So he did a song called Niji, and Niji is uh, this is the what you call it? Kanji. Uh, Niji means rainbow and rainbow was featured in a show called water boys so uh, i'm gonna leave a link uh, below here this is the full pv of penis vagina or promotional video or music video this one is the music box version without the lyrics this one is uh, the song with the hiraganas and also the translation so you if you want to know the meaning of the damn thing then uh, you can actually listen to it uh this niji is not that I mean, it's, it's catchy, it's nice, but uh, it's not the reason why I made this video. The reason for this video is because of a song called Heart. So Water Boys is a, is a J-drama about uh, school boys who want to do some synchronized swimming. So they, were, they are boys and synch synchronized swimming is more for the girls, you know. But uh, they persevered and blah blah blah. Same old shit. So uh, when it comes to the Water Boys, uh, the one that I watched is the... I think it's a TV series. I'm not sure which one was it. There are a couple. Uh, one is a movie and one is a TV series, and they have different casts, so it's uh, very very different. Uh, I I don't think it's a television series. I think it's something else. Uh, Water Boys. This these fellas here, they don't ring a bell at all. So it's not the television series that I'm talking about. It is actually the movie version that I watched. So the TV series I didn't watch and I don't want to watch. But the song Niji or Rainbow by Fukuyama something something. Sorry, Fukuyama Masaharu is uh, the opening theme for this Water Boys the TV version. So the Water Boys is uh, so. Uh, what the hell is she doing here? What the hell? This one is the name American comedian in that show. Uh, fuck no, so I don't know what's his name already. And I'm not not going to talk about this Water Boy by Adam Sad Sandler. Uh, it's a good movie. It's a very old movie, but it's a very funny movie. But uh, nowadays Adam Sandler is just going down the drain. Terrible. He's, he just does not do anything. He just talks like a, is like a, like no emotionless, emotionless, emotionless person. And we can see here, you, uh, what's his name? Uh, Yi Jing. Ah. Ji Yang. Ah. Ji Yang is a very beautiful girl indeed. You can look at the the beauty of a one piece, uh, one piece uh, dress here. It, it suits her really really fine, and uh, she has very long hair. Very nice indeed. She is a. Uh, she has a face of an angel. Face of an angel indeed. Too bad the video is in uh, what 720p and not 1080p. But uh, she looks very, uh, very, very, very plain. Okay, but very beautiful. It's very strange to like. I don't know how to actually uh, uh, describe it, but uh, she looks innocently beautiful and beautiful, and also very beautiful in that one piece dress. That's all I can say. So Water Boys is not the one that I'm talking about. Ah, the film is the one that I'm talking about. Water Boys. I watched this one. I was uh, quite, quite, uh, what you call it? Uh, quite amused by it. And there are actually two stars here that uh, that are quite notable. One of them is uh, Satoshi 
Juma Buki. He is uh, notable because I've seen him in one good J drama, which is called Orange Days, and uh, he looks very handsome indeed, and I'm not gay. So this one here is Orange Days, and it's starring uh, another girl who is supposed to be deaf. So we can see them here doing the sign language thingy. Yeah, this is uh, that uh, Satoshi Chu something. And this one is the actress who starred in also that, uh, what can we call it? The Battle Royale, the movie ah, in from Japan. Not Hunger Games, but Battle Royale. So uh, that's, uh, this one is quite far, I think. Yeah, Battle Royale, this girl here, she is mute in this uh, Orange Days. I did not finish Orange Days, unfortunately. Uh, the time that I was watching Orange Days was uh, before I went to Britain, about in 2004. So before I get a chance to finish it, and I, I left for Britain, so that's the end. So here is the girl from Orange Days, the mute one, and you look at the face, she is, uh, she's a very beautiful girl, and she is one of the rare Japanese beauties, one of the top 10 back in the day, very beautiful. And in Orange Days also, this girl here, is a uh, Mickey Mouse girl who looks like Selena Gomez, very pretty girl. Don't know what's her name already. Look at the ears, flappy ears. But she's so cute. She's beautiful. Uh huh. Um, uh, last video, I said that uh, she was married to this uh, Masaharu Fu 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 something. Uh, actually, no. It's not not married to him. Maybe it's gay. Who knows? And an another person who starred in uh, not in Orange Days but in this uh, Water Boys the movie is uh, Hiroshi Tamaki, a Japanese actor, singer, and model as well. He's a guy model, so... And this is Hiroshi Tamaki. Hiroshi Tamaki, to me, uh, notably, he starred in No Dame Kantabil, the, the live-action drama. So I like him very much in this uh, No Dame Kantabil, uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly, No Dame Kantabile. Bile, as in whatever you puke out of your your mouth or the, the juices, the yellow juices which is secreted by the pancreas to like break down stuff because it's an enzyme, bile, cantabile, cantabile, cantabile. Ooh. So this is uh, him, very handsome indeed, uh, very handsome indeed, Hiroshi something something, ta something. And this is the Nodame Cantabile uh, uh, cover. I prefer the guy than the girl. The girl is just, uh, she looks okay, not bad. And uh, and that's about it. Uh, that's about it, the Water Boys uh, the film and the song Muji aka Rainbow. So uh, next we get to see a very beautiful Yuki Yen, a Korean-like uh, looking girl. Uh, so this is the first time I'm seeing her. She's wearing those uh, uh, uniform. So you can check out the video in front of my page, and uh, I think that's her. Uh, yeah, very cute. Ah, hello. Uh, do you, uh, how much is it? Uh, very very cute girl. Very very cute indeed. So next up is the song that uh, that this video is based on. It's called Heart. So Heart is a, a very upbeat type of song. Uh, if you want to like uh, do something that 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 requires a lot of strength and a lot of determination then uh, listen to heart something like that and uh, and heart is actually for a drama called Maguri Eye Maguri Eye uh, and uh, Maguri Eye is uh, this one here, Maguri Eye, the cover is this one, and it's starring the, the, the singer, and the girl here, her name is uh, Takako Toki Tokiwa, and that's her, and you might realize that she looks fucking familiar, if you have seen Beautiful Life, then that's her, the girl who's, uh, who's in a wheelchair, so this is uh, Takako Tokiwa, she looks very good in this uh, picture here, very beautiful indeed and uh, the only thing that I know of uh, Takako Tokiwa is because of beautiful life and that's it so these are some pictures of her and uh, she looks kind of weird in this old thing with her hair weird very weird and this is what she looks like mm, nice she seems to have a very big big personality here but actually in actual fact I don't think she has big personality at all this one here 
Actually, maybe not. Maybe a B cup. Hmm. Looks very nice here. Ah, looks very nice here indeed. Young when they're young, they look nice. So this is beautiful life. Uh, so she start with uh, the hard rope uh, Takayu ta Takuya Kimura. Yeah, very very handsome indeed. So this Meguri Eye is called Refrain or Twist of Fate, and it's starring our uh, uh, sorry, starring Fukuyama Masaharu and also Tokiwa Takako, and it's uh, in uh, Fukuyama Masaharu's uh, single called Heart is featured as the opening theme. So Meguri Eye, of course, I'm gonna leave this uh, here. Meguri Eye opening song for you. Uh, so. Then uh, what does heart mean? Heart means, uh, I mean the lyrics that is, I've never given up the search for myself like the morning sun that you will soon rise in this town. I wanted to be sure of what you left, oh sorry, what you felt open this window like the wind you felt. The longing you created the lost forever walking our own roads. Ah, fuck it now. Uh, you go and read it yourself. Um, so some of the songs like this one promotional video so you can check it out in the link below. Then uh, some some uh, what you can call it live versions of it and live again, a few lives. Another live 15th anniversary in 2005, and that's about it. And Squall is coming up next in the next video. And coincidentally, I'm not going to do another video about Maggie Eye, an another song by Chuggy and Asta, but I'm going to cover it here and now. Maybe should I? Maggie Eye, oh oh oh. Ah fuck it, I'm going to do the Maggie Eye by Chuggy and Asta in another another uh, video because uh, I don't want to confuse all my videos too much uh, here there are so many artists fuck me out so next up what next uh, not squall but uh, just reading of the the mail I'm gonna like mix everything up together uh, let's read some mails yes oh not bad looking okay so let's see here where was I let's go back to Yuki Yuki the beautiful cute girl very cute indeed let's uh, yeah let's go and Oh shit. So let's see here. First one is a cutter. Thank you, Rizim Hazard. Next. What next? What next? Oh god, so many. How many comments? Uh, uh, one Google Plus is not going to. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Try to keep this, uh, these uh, videos as short as possible. <coughs> so what uh, this is a video about my volume 1 uh, thoughts there's yeah, not much to say about uh, volume 1 so volume 2 also is even less lesser volume 3 I'm now reading I'm taking my sweet time one night one volume hopefully uh, yeah I, I, I'm supposed to watch Thor uh, the dark world or something like that and I watch only 30 minutes then I stop so yeah lots of stuff to do so uh, Ghost001 says, don't worry, all the scene about what, uh, when they were in the milita military will be in the manga. I think it will be about volume 3 or 4. Uh, when it comes to all these things, uh, I think the anime did it correctly. The anime was like uh, from, from start to finish in a chronological order. But when it comes to the manga, uh, doing manga, they skips here, skips there. So it, it has a different effect uh, to it. I don't know which one is better, it depends on uh, which one you were exposed to first, whether it's a manga or the anime. But uh, uh, I'm, I watched the anime first, so it's kind of like taking me out already. And I was wondering whether the people who've, who have read the manga uh, from the first chapter on, suddenly uh, uh, Aaron Yeager's mother got, got uh, beaten or dead, munched, got, got digested already. Then suddenly Aaron Yeager is a soldier already. I mean... Uh, who are the who are Aaron Yeager's comrades? Uh, all nine or ten or eleven or twelve of them. Who are they? There was no backstory to them. Suddenly they just appear. So they might be. It's a slower characterization compared to the anime. The anime they just build the characters up and uh, then then kill them off and something like that. And um, so I was wondering whether manga is better or the anime is better. For me personally, I think the anime is better. Because it's all chrono chronologically correct, there's no flashback things like the manga, and I prefer I prefer the the anime. I mean, of course, the anime is like fucking awesome music, right? Animation is good as well. 
uh, and also uh, uh, the animes, uh, you know, it's not like the manga's artwork. You can see already. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, he's, it seems like the mangaka Hajime is uh, Hajime Sai, Sai something. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Hajime was like scribbling. He was just simply doing it at a fast pace and just didn't bother. Right, right, and next, uh, give it to somebody else. So uh, yeah, but for the anime compared to the manga so far, so I I did not feel the emotion that the anime uh, can actually stir in me, and that's a very important thing. And maybe that is why I think, from my point of view, a lot of people got into this uh, Attack on the Titans because of the anime. I think I'm not sure. I just found out about this this uh, Attack on the Titans about two three months ago, thanks to that comic Fiesta 2013 uh, KLCC event, which I I filmed for three hours. Uh, you can check it out if you want to. Uh, a lot of people uh, like say cosplaying as the characters in the Attack on the on Titan anime. So. Uh, yeah, I prefer the anime compared to the manga, definitely, 100%. And also because of the songs in the anime, War Girl in Kafi, the two songs by Link Horizon, the first ending theme, then uh, all the all the insert songs or orchestral songs, all of them were fucking awesome. It's like 12 stars out of 10, man. 12 fucking stars out of 10. So, uh, yeah, the, this is my initial two cents worth uh, concerning the manga. I prefer the anime compared to the manga. So one I will one, huh? There are currently twelve volumes. One I will one says four volumes. What the fuck? D there are currently twelve volumes. Twelve volumes. What the fuck? Are you sure? The one that I got from Baka BT or formerly known as Box Terrence is this one here. So uh, there are one, two, three, four volumes, and the rest. So, uh, what does that mean? So, if I'm not mistaken, four of these will become uh, one volume, I guess. So, roughly about, I think, maybe, I'm not sure actually. Uh, six volumes here, kind of, side story. So, I guess this is not the complete version that uh, that you you have. Uh, so I might be wrong. I actually thought there were only like four or five volumes to this uh, Shingeki no Kyojin, because this is the one that I downloaded from uh, Baka BT, and I don't know. Do you guys know what is Baka BT or formerly known as Box Torrents? Do you get your stuff from Box Torrents or Baka BT? I don't know whether it's famous or not, but uh, I've been using it for years and years already because I love to like get the anime in batches and not in single single uh video or episode. So that reminds me, I need to go and watch uh, Chihaya Furu season number two. Must watch it because I love that. Uh, I don't know whether you have seen Chihaya Furu or not. Whether you're into all these games which you do not fucking understand at all. There's one uh, one character in this Chihaya Furu. She is called Queen, and I like her because uh, she is like the queen. She is the top number one player of this game, which I've forgotten what's the name of. Uh, removing cards and like saying or saying the rhyme and when you figure out, figure out that rhyme is about this card then you have to put the card or steal the uh, opponent's card or hide your card from the opponent's uh, snatching thingy so it's uh, very exciting so the queen is uh, is a very cute uh, not a cute character it's a very cool character i think i like girls who are chunderous or girls who are actually very 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 uh, arrogant and uh, seem uninterested and not friendly person until you go and like massage their they are uh, massage they are clitoris and they f they melt away and they say sonna hazuka shiyo kimochi desu motto motto ageru or something like that uh, yeah i love i love girls who are mean to me and and they send messages and uh, last time uh, i like girls who actually beat me up or something like that uh, my last girlfriend was uh, 13 and she was like uh, sometimes she's very angry with me and she like has she has all these uh, very long nails and uh, she will scratch me when I'm I attack her uh, attack at her as in uh, not raping her okay uh, when I like fight with her she would like uh, like a cat she will just uh, have her, her nails and scratch off my 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 skin and uh, and it's really painful man it will scratch off my skin she and uh, and you know what she does after that? She will just uh, hold her fingers in front of her mouth and she will blow into it, and doing that type of uh, thing, you know. 
try just trying to like uh, piss me off or something like that, something like that, and that that uh, that encourages encourages me to tackle her down into the bed and well, uh, and fight on. So uh, what else was I talking about? That no idea actually. Oh, she hired photo. Ah, uh, yeah, Queen. The Queen. Uh, she's sexy and and one time she was so fat because uh, she like wanted to to collect some collectible anime thing and she had to eat a lot of ice cream and that's why she was so fat and then she became this, uh, kid, her usual kid self again small little girl ah, i just love chihaya photo it's based on the manga if i'm not mistaken if you haven't watched it just go and watch chihaya furu and in case you do not know what the fuck it looks like uh let me go and um chihaya furu it's uh, something like uh, hikaru no go and something like uh Hikaru no Go is also something that uh, they're playing that kind of game Go, uh, black and white little dots and stuff. So this is a very old anime and uh, it's very good. Okay, unfortunately it's just ended and I mean not now. Last time when I was watching it in Britain, I was quite uh, impressed by it and it suddenly stopped uh, airing and there was no conclusion uh, unless you want to read the manga. So uh, I did not read the manga actually. That's too bad, but this is a very exciting show, this Hikaru no Go. And also the another one that you should watch is Hajime no Ippo, which is about boxing. That's funny as well. I love uh, Hajime no Ippo. Uh, that again, st- they stopped and uh, and uh, you have to go and continue on with the manga if you want to know further about the storyline. And uh, I just love this uh, anime, Hajime, Hajime no Ippo, which means literally uh, one step at a time. And the uh, one that I'm talking about is uh, this Shihaya Furu is a nicely nicely and well animated anime and uh, it's, I think it's based of a manga as well. A lot of good shit is from based on good mangas. So uh, it's very good. I like it and I stopped watching it for months and months already. So uh, I think I was waiting for it to stop, uh, well finish its season 2. And am I going to read the manga? No, of course not. And the the version of this girl here is fucking cute when she was very very young. So cute. Oh my god. I'm not a pedophile, okay? This is anime. Nothing to do with uh, real life. So Chihaya Furu is uh, the queen. Looks like this one here. Very white and very cool and Cinderella like. See? I like this character very much. Mm, I like her. So cute. And this is the character that she likes. Some kind of uh, snowman thingy that made her fat. Where's the picture of her fat? Uh, no pictures of her fat eh? I guess it's a bit too embarrassing so they deleted everything in the this net here so no pictures of her fat uh, I like this anime I like it a lot Chihaya Furu unfortunately I haven't w- uh, continue, o- continue watching the second season am I going to watch the first season season again nah, I don't think so I think I'll just continue on the second season a wicked picture of this one. This one's a nice one. And she has a mole. I, I'm a sucker for girls with moles near the eyes. Nice. Very sexy. Ah. Oh, so yeah, back to the topic. Ooh. Again, she looks nice. So again, uh, there are 12 volumes. What the fuck? I didn't know that. I thought it was only like 4 to 5 or 6 volumes. And since you say it's like, uh, uh, that's why when I I, I did the the interview, uh, not uh, I didn't do the interview with Hajime. Uh, when I uh, go through all the the translation provided by Kara Gaming, Kara Gaming is is uh, the one 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 uh, what can you call it? One of the answer was uh, saying that the manga is five years old. So I was thinking, what the fuck, five years old? What? Four volumes and it takes five years to actually do. That's like, uh, this is like, like Berserk, Berserk Ken Miura's uh, timeline already or or work rate. So I was thinking, what the fuck? And now you tell me, uh, One Eyed Wolf tells me that I'm wrong. Actually, I guess I'm wrong, very very wrong. Twelve volumes, all right. So I think I have to find the twelve volumes. Okay, thank you, One Eyed Wolf One for the information. And uh, Abyss Blade, uh, he, she's he says the art style will improve. It will be about five times better than what it was. Okay, thank God for that. 
So thank you very much guys and uh, now the bell. And I think uh, there is a XZ XZ thing here. That that there it is. This one finished already. Let's put the beautiful UV here. This one done already, I guess. Nice polish and what? And XZ XZ will say something with uh, good stuff. What the heck? XZ XZ says, "What up? Enjoying the video. What up, XZ?" Enjoying the video. What does that mean? Good stuff. Uh -huh. What does that mean? I don't understand. Ah, it's about this uh, cosplay. Uh, good effort by them. Uh, some of the girls are, well, mm, uh, okay looking only yes okay only okay looking only uh, so I guess that's about it thank you very much for it uh, thank you for listening to the voice of hate from London thank you very much if you Malaysia or where you're from and I'm trying to like find out whether there are any more uh, hidden surprises in this hidden surprises in this uh, comments this system with the stuff balls and ass oh god seriously what done already at all I can think no more surprises it's uh, okay the cutter and uh, no more no more no more I've been confusing all these things this uh, Google test oh okay so it's finished already 12 volumes okay I'm glad I'm glad that there are, are 12 volumes that would be awesome and uh, what's this XZ again what up XZ enjoying the video uh, okay okay no problem XZ so that's about it uh, do check out the songs uh, that I've uh, compiled the heart and also the other one the Niji or aka rainbow and um, next up will be uh, uh, the song that I want to I want the song that made me want to like do a video on the the singer uh forget what's his name again Masaharu Fukuyama the name of the song is actually Squall and Squall was not sa was not sang by him it was sang by a girl that's the first time I've uh, noticed this song because it was sang by another girl another woman okay and uh, the original singer is actually he himself uh, Fukuyama something Fukushima is it? No, 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 it's not the Nippo thing. So thank you for watching. It's 27 minutes already. Bye-bye.